Now, the two Koreas will march as one when the curtain rises for the Paralympics on March 9th. Compared to the recently ended Winter Games, the regime will be sending a considerably smaller delegation this time. Kim Young Gil has the full story. Kim Moon Chol, the chair of the North Korean Federation for the Protection of the Disabled, will lead a four member delegation of officials from its Paralympics committee. Besides the officials, 20 other people, including six athletes, will comprise Pyongyang's Paralympic delegation. They will enter into South Korea on Wednesday using the Western Land Route. North Korean athletes will participate in the cross country skiing events on March 11th and 14th and return home around March 15th. The International Paralympic Committee invited North Korea to the Pyeongchang Winter Paralympics and offered two bipartite slots to athletes to compete in paranordic skiing events. Sit skiers Kim Jong-hyun and Ma Yu-chol were given the spots. At the Paralympics opening ceremony, the two Koreas will once again march under the Korean unification flag which bears the image of a sky-blue Korean peninsula against a white background. They will be the last group among the 49 countries to enter the stadium. The two Koreas reached an agreement regarding North Korea's participation in the Pyeongchang Paralympics during working-level talks on February 27. Pyongyang will not be sending an art troop and a cheering squad for the Paralympics. Pyeongchang will host the largest Paralympics so far, with 570 athletes from 49 countries having confirmed their participation. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.